Hey, what's going on everyone? So, Grey Zone Warfare finally released a lot of their first gameplay, or I guess I should say raw gameplay. And no, it's not going to kill Tarkov. Developers have said that many times. It's not a Tarkov killer. Um, you may ask why. Well, because, you know, every game that comes out that is maybe slightly similar to another game is not the killer of that previous game. It's been said many, many times about games like DayZ, and guess what? DayZ is still around. People still play this shit out of DayZ. It's a cult classic, and it's never going to die or be replaced because it has its fan base, much like Tarkov. Tarkov is a game that has a fan base. It's very diehard and loyal, quite large, where the game will never be killed or replaced by another game. It's just some weird comparative bullshit people love to do now games, not just with games, but everything in life. Everything just has to be compared. Getting into the gameplay, Greyzone Warfare honestly I think looks really great. A lot of people have commented saying that the weapon positions look weird and that like, you know, the guns are too small and like, you know, the audio of gunshots and like the ambient and yada yada yada. But people, again, you guys got to understand, some of us like to actually see what we're shooting and looking in our environment. Having a position where a weapon is quite low where we can actually look over the top of a weapon, bring your rifle up, and then actually be able to ADS and still maintain a really good peripheral around our environment is great. Or, you know, you can be playing something like Tarkov and have a Scar H, which covers up half your screen, making it to where you can't see anything, but you get to see this really cool gun in your face because we hold rifles up like this against our face all the time, right? Not, you know, like a natural already position like it is in Greystone Warfare, which I personally prefer. It actually makes me a bit reminiscent of Battlebit Remastered in terms of how their weapon position is. I think it looks great. In terms of like the ambient audio and overall audio rework, that's actually something that the developers are working on right now. I'm uh, almost certain that the build that we just watched in this gameplay footage is actually quite a bit old and doesn't have a lot of the tweaks and changes that were mentioned to me all the other people who had the privilege of being able to test this game early. Things like audio are usually one of the last things that are done throughout a polish pass uh, when it comes to making a game. Since the game is in pre-alpha, there's so many core features that are just not in there yet. And you know, all of those kind of take priority over audio. Don't get me wrong, I don't think the audio is in the best state either. When you are listening to the ambient audio, it's in a stereo uh, sound play basically in your headset. And you know, no matter where you turn left or right, you're just still hearing, hearing the same frog or same cricket in the same direction. Whereas, in my opinion, the best way to do that is actually localize these sounds in the game environment so that, you know, birds are actually in specific trees. Maybe they don't physically have to be there, but at least the audio can be playing from a specific area. I know DayZ does this very well, and it's super immersive because, you know, when you're out adventuring, you hear a bird and like you look up towards a tree, like you can hear it like up in the tree somewhere, even though you can't see it. Same with the crickets and bugs. It's very immersive and honestly is very great. And I'm sure Gray Zone will get to that point, but it's just not there now because again, this is pre-alpha. This game play that we're seeing here is, is literally maybe two years or more of development, which is really not a long time in the grand scheme of game development. That's a very short period of time. And so don't expect all these things to be perfect in a pre-alpha. And again, a lot of people are comparing Grey Zone Warfare to Tarkov, and I understand why. Both hardcore tactical FPS, extraction FPSs, we'll get into why Grey Zone's a little bit different in a bit. But basically, like, we're looking at a game that has had two to three years, maybe, of dev time and you guys are comparing it to game that has been in development for damn near almost eight years maybe even nine years and has been out of its pre-alpha for almost six if you go and compare tarkov pre-alpha gameplay to gray zone warfare pre-alpha gameplay i choose gray zone all day because it's an open world map there are no loading screens once you open the game and connect to a server that is the only loading screen that you see when you extract you're not just leaving and going to a lobby and interacting with UI, you are going back to a base in Grey Zone Warfare that is physically on the map. And that base also has a lot of future features that will come to where like your faction HQ can get raided by other players, signifying and causing certain types of PvP events on specific servers. So if you guys don't really understand, Grey Zone Warfare, in my opinion, is not trying to be a Tarkov killer. It's trying to be something entirely unique. Granted, sure, it could have totally taken inspiration from other things that ha are in Escape from Tarkov, you know, because the hardcore milsim extraction type nature, but Grey Zone basically does its entirely own thing to spin it off from the genre. Because again, Tarkov did kind of create this trend of uh, extraction shooter popularity, just like PUBG kind of started the whole Battle Royale uh, trend, you know, almost a decade ago. And so Grey Zone has a lot of unique things going for it that really do separate it from, you know, your run-of-the-mill extraction games. Again, first of all, no loading screens. Once you are in the server, you're in there. You're in. Like, there's no there's no more clunking around UI, no utilizing stuttery menus or any of that bullshit. 
you're just in the game. And of course, like once you're at your base, you can obviously go through UI where you can access traders and quests and do a bunch of other things like that. But you know, you're actually in the game doing everything, which makes it feel so much more immersive because Again, I'm not trying to make this like a comparison to Tarkov and Gray Zone here, but you know, again, it's kind of hard to contrast and not compare them. Um, Tarkov, a lot of its gameplay is like, you're just looking at menus a lot of time and then you're getting into a raid or you're waiting to get into a raid. And that isn't very accessible, nor is it very fun. Whereas again, Gray Zone, you're just, you're in the server. That's it. Once you're in there, you're in, no more loading screens. I think that's awesome. And it's a true open world game. Albeit it's not like a massive open world, but it's a quite well-made and detailed map that is going to get even more and more updates as time go on. Because again, it is a pre-alpha. Uh, Gray Zone also is trying to add a lot of different systems for like leveling your skills and abilities. Um, they're adding uh, different ways to quest and move around the map. They're adding uh, essentially a sandbox for players to engage with in a multiplayer setting in this PvP PvP setting, where it's players versus players versus players in three different factions fighting against each other. Then versus these AI that are also competing for certain resources and territories in the map a lot kind of like Stalker, if you guys have ever played Stalker, where the AI life kind of engages with the player and each other naturally. And that will happen in Grey Zone Warfare, where we have these three factions that we can play as, and there's different factions of AI that all compete against each other, and they'll each try and control different territories and zones within the overall greater scheme of each server. And again, another great thing about this game is there will be like standalone servers. It's not one server that you connect to and it connects you wherever you want. You can join your own server and every server kind of has its own community and gameplay and style. Uh, I don't know if we are going to be getting private servers because I think that would be, you know, pretty awesome. But overall, it's trying to be something I think very unique. And Gray Zone is not trying to kill Tarkov. It's not trying to kill any game. It's just trying to be itself. Even though it's, again, quite similar to games like Tarkov and anything that's like a Nilsson tactical shooter variety. But it's, again, just really trying to be their own thing. And they're trying to, like, uh, Mindfinger Games is really just trying to set their mark in the industry. And I, I really respect it because this game, to me, genuinely looks like something that I could have as a main game for a long time. I've been looking for, like, another main, you know, content for myself, my channel, my brand, and just game for me to enjoy that's, like, kind of like a milsim, really, since EFT. I haven't, I haven't had anything hook me in like that. You know, we've been doing variety now for almost three years, and things have been good, and, you know, I can't complain. I'm very happy. Um, but, you know, I've, I've been waiting to like have that one game kind of infatuate me, and kind of like overtake me and, you know, I'm almost like obsessed about it. And I know you guys can kind of relate too because we haven't really gotten a lot of cool Milsim hardcore style FPS games in quite a while. And if we have, they kind of just missed their mark. So again, Grey Zone Warfare is not here to kill Tarkov. It's not the Tarkov killer either. It's trying to be something in its own ballpark. Um, I would suggest don't be too critical on the pre-alpha footage. By all means, give your feedback. Give them ideas. There's nothing wrong with that. But I mean, to just bash on and be like, other game better. Pfft, this game is dog shit. You know, just don't write it off, man. It's literally just pre-alpha footage that we just saw. We're gonna be hopefully seeing more here very soon. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm very excited. I think Ray Zone Warfare is really, uh, it's doing something interesting and, and something very unique. And I, I'm, I'm very keen to see how they uh, cater and create this game throughout uh, it's early access release and, and, and post early access launch. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the discussion here about Grey Zone Warfare. Um, I'm very excited. If you guys want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video.